Hello Sagittarius. How are my archers this day? My straight shooters, seeking of wisdom and knowledge. My philosophers. How you guys? How you girls? Thanks for checking in. This is a daily reading, just an energy checkup for what's about, what's around you this day. I was gonna do a different sign, but as I cleared the energy from my cards and from myself, um, just Sagittarius came right into my mind. Like, okay, looks like we, looks like we are gonna read for the Saggies. Uh, Sagittarius is my um, north node in Vedic astrology, and I've always felt the philosophical side of that. Whenever I've been pursuing higher knowledge or higher wisdom, I've just been energized and charged up. Going for it, if you know what I mean. Feeling it. So, so I feel that Sag energy myself. Yeah. Spirit guides and ancestors, please be with me now in this now moment. Help me to bring forth the most clear and concise messages for the Sagittarius Collective. What do our Sagis need to know about in this day? What's the overall energy that they can expect or they will be interacting with? And then we'll pull other cards to explain that, that part. Moving on to calmer waters, letting go of mental conflict. Letting go of the, the mental fight and moving on to calmer waters. Six of Swords. They're taking the swords with them, though. It's got a mother and a child on a boat. Rough water on one side, calm water on the other. Moving to the calm water. Transitioning away. But taking the thoughts with them. So let's, let's talk about this, Spirit. What do you want to tell me about this the Six of Swords energy? What are we moving away from? Let's just do a little background to it. Oh, that's a whole, that, that's half the deck. Okay. That's my hands, my hands. Got the hot hands. What is this Six of Swords about? It's about a Knight of Cups. It's about a, whoa. I know. An emotional offer. Or it's about, you know, a masculine. Now, I don't necessarily see the Knights as masculine or feminine. Sorry, I just don't. Um, it's a... It's not maiden, mother, or crone energy. Yeah. You know, it's the page, knight, king, or queen is different because the page is androgynous, the knight is also androgynous um, to me. It's that 20s something to 30s something energy. They know what they're doing, sort of. They've got it, kind of and they can make stuff happen definitely they've got the energy for it and this could be a cancer pisces or scorpio energy uh romantic definitely romantic they'll talk your feelings off and if you're old like me you're gonna fall for it <laughs> just 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 saying anyway one more to, uh so that so that's like the background ish what's happening in the now about getting past these six about this moving forward. What, what's, what are the, what's the energy around moving forward? It's around a king of swords. That is a, that's a masculine energy. That's um, air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. More like a, I'm not necessarily seeing these as people though. These are within yourself. That's how I generally view this. So you've got a new understanding. You're like, oh, I'm moving on. Moving away from that action. And uh, where is this leading us towards, Spirit? Where is this leading us towards? This moving on from the calmer waters. Uh, from this, uh, you know, Don Juan type energy with this new understanding that we have. It's leading us towards a new beginning. The fool energy. Wow. Sagittarius, this is fantastico. I love this. This is... Yeah. Tell me more about this Knight of the Cups, Spirit, please. Lay, lay down some more, more of the juicy details. Spill that tea, Spirit. What do we got on this Knight of the Cups? 
Woo Whoa! That's that's two cards. They pop together. It was about ooh. Yeah, it's about the two of cups. So it's about love. It's about love. That's that Knight of the Cups. And also the Sun. The sun's the happiest card in the deck. It's also about illumination. It's about illumination. No, well, that illumination seems to go with the King of uh, the Swords, though. I went to put it down on the Two of Cups, and I got the... Mm -mm. So I put it there. Okay, so what else do we have about this fool energy? What else we got about that fool energy there, spirit? The fool is moving away from a five of pentacles. Moving away from a sensation of lack. Of not enough feelings. It's the fool is moving away from that. Taking that leap of faith and going for it. One last time through the three, please, Spirit. One last time through, so we get a little more clarity. That Knight of Cups to the Two of Cups. What other energies do we have in there for that? What other energies do you have to help us pull this story together so we understand better what we're dealing with? Come on, Spirit, what you got for me? That's a whole lot of cards, Spirit. It's too many. I couldn't lay them out. I probably could, you're right. But let's let's try this in a different way. Because that's my fingers that did that, Spirit. Remember, you're working with an avatar that's a uh, Wheel of Fortune. Got it. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel has turned. Knight of Cups to the Two of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. We need to move on to calmer waters. And the King of Swords to the Sun to the Hermit. The Hermit turns inward, finds the star of healing. And that's, what they put, that's what they put in their lantern to illuminate their way as their healing light. Interesting. Could also bring the illumination of the sun. Reading it back up. I'm reading these in reverse now. And what about this fool energy here? The Five of Cups, the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. The Fool is moving away from this. Yeah, so this illumination <sighs> is allowing you to get away from these denser energies. And that's how we get to the Six of Swords, is moving on to calmer waters. So something in the past seemed like it was right. It felt good, it felt light. And it felt like it was faded, that Wheel of Fortune. But something must not have been correct in there. Because the sun illuminated a five of pentacles for you. Something was in lack. The hermit turned inward and he realized it was five of cups. It was lack. And with the five of cups, you can just walk away from those, go over the bridge into the castle there and... Fill up your other cups. You got two more. Take those with you. Take those original two cups with you. You got this. Get on that boat and move on to your calmer water, Sagittarius. Whatever has happened and transpired, you're better off. If it isn't for you, it isn't for you. You got any advice here, Spirit? What, what advice do we have for Sagittarius to make this transition? Or I don't know if this is romance or if this is work. What, Cups don't always mean, you know, romantic love, but it's something that satisfies you in an emotional way, in a heart-centered way. It touches your heart. Knight of Wands, get busy. Get moving, get active. Get on that. You know to move away, so get on that horse and ride. Anything else? Any other advice you want to give the Sagittarius? It's also one of your cards, Sagis. The Knight of Wands. I've always kind of seen the Knight of Wands as the card of Sagittarius, by the way. Eight of Pentacles. You know, take care of what takes care of you. Also, don't forget to do the practical work. Take care of what takes care of you. You know? Take care of that work. That's what I have for you today, Sagittarius. 
Got a lot of love for you. Sending you peace, prosperity, and harmony of heart. I love you. Oh, click the like if you liked it. Leave me some comments if it helps. Or if it relates or something, you know, let me know. And uh, if you want more videos like this, click the subscribe. I'll show up in your feed more often. Anyway, Sag, thanks for stopping by. Peace.